Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference and I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Chris Burke who is a leading aortic valve surgeon at UW Medicine in Seattle, Washington. Dr. Burke, it is great to see you again and thanks for being with me today. Thank you, Adam, great to see you. Yeah, so you and I always have great conversations about the Ross procedure. You and I have also discussed how this is a very complex operation that takes time for a cardiac center to build, grow, learn about how to do the Ross procedure effectively. Your team at UW Medicine has had some great success. I'm curious to know if you could share with our community how you've gone about evolving a Ross procedure program at your cardiac center. Absolutely. So as you correctly point out, th th this is probably the most technically demanding operation that most adult aortic surgeons will do. And it, it takes time. It takes time to, to learn how to do this effectively. Um, it takes time to build a program, right? It's a pretty narrow, specific patient population that will, that will derive benefit from this operation. And we've learned a lot of things. Um, we, we continue to learn. That's one of the things that's so exciting and fun about this. Having a healthy program starts with, with having a, a busy program where you're seeing the requisite patients, right? These are going to be younger, many patients with bicuspid aortic valves, things like that. And so you have to have a certain amount of patients really coming through your, your program, you know, in order to have a viable program. Because we know that this operation is not effective when you're, when you're trying to do a couple a year type of thing. That's just not enough volume to, to develop and maintain the skill set. And then for us, it was just recognition of how important the team is. I mean, it, it truly does take a village to be successful here. There is perioperative things that come with blood pressure control and, and, and making sure that patients are getting proper echo surveillance. And obviously the technical surgical component is, is very important, but there's also the ICU care and, and everything sort of in between. And, and a recognition of how important that team concept and structure is, has been critically important. And then the, probably the biggest thing, Adam, is, as we move on, is we're very self critical and we, we very much follow closely how things are going. Um, we, I've appreciated the power of, of collaborating with other Ross centers and, and we're proud to be a founding member of the North American Ross Consortium. And that's a very unique prospective um, database where we're tracking outcomes and we're learning more and more because we're all getting better, right? And we're all on this somewhere on this journey you know, you know, together as surgeons and, and the more that we can learn from each other will only make us stronger as a program. Well, I can't thank you enough because I know it takes time, resources, and at the end of the day, a lot of personal commitment to see this through. So on behalf of your prior patients and future patients for the Ross procedure, I cannot thank you and your team enough at UW Medicine in Seattle, Washington. Thanks so much for everything, Chris. Thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.